What's up dudes and dudes to the urna, my name's Seth and today we're gonna be taking a look at Unexplored. Now before we go into the craziness of the actual game, we're just gonna hop into the tutorial. It's in our top-down Dungeons and Dragons style of game, which is actually very interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Moving around, of course, you can do just moving your character around. Woo, woo! But also pressing the space bar uh, is going to move where your mouse cursor is pointing, so you can have, I guess, more fluent movement rather than just WASD. So you pause the game by pressing escape, or if you end up interacting with stuff in your inventory, that's also going to end up pausing the game, uh, as well as giving a different informations about some of your gear and equipment and stuff like that so let's just get rid of that and now we got our first sword the way that the weapons work is very self-explanatory you click once and as our sword was faded out right there and it was kind of pitch black uh it means that each weapon is going to end up having their own kind of internal cool down uh so that you don't just get to spam the attack over and over and then over here is our first chest which inside it is going to end up being a dagger that we can then equip as a secondary item Item, which means that we can throw it now if we end up messing things up this chest apparently is going to constantly have new daggers but the you know dungeons themselves are not going to end up being like that so now they're telling us to just explore the dungeon carefully here's a potion now potions are always going to end up having random effects so you're not exactly sure uh, whether or not it's gonna be something that's gonna be good for you or be able to be used against your enemies uh, and as we come over to this little thing right here we can actually peek through we'll deal with the hiding in a moment uh, we actually get to see in this room and kind of see the layout that it's a secret room uh, and kind of see that this spot up here looks a little bit fishy. So that is definitely the way that we end up actually getting in here. So we'll destroy that wall. Actually, I don't think we have to even destroy it. Throw the potion. Kill those two fools and kill the last one as he was stunned in our smoke bomb, right? Uh, and then we go and grab this, which is the amulet of Yendor, which is the main objective of the game. So in the actual live game, your whole purpose is to try and go to the deepest part of the dungeon, grab that amulet from the dragon, apparently, and then get out. And that's the entire game, because as you end up having it, well, then, you know, it, it's kind of like, uh, there, was, there was an R game, uh, oh man, what was it even called? It was like Div Divergence or something? It was, it was an R game that was very similar to this one in that you had to go to the deepest part of the dungeon, grab an item, and then everything, everything just went to poop on your way back out. So we can kind of wade through water as it was saying right there. You can go into deeper water, but of course it's gonna, you know, mess up your controls quite a bit, uh, and generally you are going to end up drowning. So as long as you don't have anything in your right hand, you are actually going to be able to physically grab stuff in the environment, which I think is pretty cool. That's a pretty unique mechanic uh, that most of these don't really have. So there we ended up just seeing this lever. And as we go up here, there is a gross troll and now the stealth comes into play because uh, you actually stay hidden while you're beside a wall. I, I don't know if that necessarily is how the entirety of the game works or maybe that's just kind of how we are right now. So we're trying to avoid waiting this guy up because otherwise he's just going to wreck my face and we don't want that to end up happening uh, so it also has a nice little text commands uh, of all everything that we've gone through in the bottom left uh, and then what they're trying to tell us right now is we're actually right back at the beginning and they're saying okay so you're gonna want to try and keep in mind all these staircases because there might actually be multiple ways out of the dungeon and because of it it means that one staircase might actually lead to a deadly room that you would have then skipped right so now they're saying give us those that fake amulet back so uh before we get into the game i want to show you that there are special challenge runs as well uh we got a bunch of free dlc daily dungeons to complete for gold or best time uh weekly dungeons and stuff like that so they you know it's pretty cool that this game actually has a lot of challenges and stuff like that fewer monsters less gold and more magic gear challenging means more monsters more gold and some magic gear Hard means most monsters, most gold, but little magic gear. So we'll probably just choose casual, just because otherwise I'll get my butt kicked. Extra bosses, so you can have more bosses per run. Uh, and of course, it is all randomly generated, so you can kind of see the last seed, or just set it to random. Or you can pump in a specific one that you want. So let's just say... Jump, jump. We'll punch that one in so that if any of you folks watching at home ever want to end up playing the same thing that I just did, well, now you can. 
We can change his eyesight and kind of customize our character a little bit, but not really. You know, not not really too, too much. It's still kind of cool, though, because we do get to make our character look a little bit weirder and a little bit more unique, at least, right? So let's try and take that and, I guess, well, Rodney the Second. Yeah, sure, I'm down for that. Okay, the tavern continued. Rodney the Second, eh? The old man repeats, I'll try to remember that this time, just in case you really make a name for yourself. Now into business, will you spare some coin to wet my throat a little bit? I could tell you a thing or two about the dungeon. Dungeon of Doom, I could. Buy beers for five gold. No, we got 20, so we can buy ourselves, uh, well, actually, no, this is equipment that we already have on hand. Let's ignore that freak, and let's just go right into it, because why not? Let's, let's just go for it. Unearth in Catacombs of Dawn. What? Welcome. You are now inside the Dungeon of Doom. Use the right thumbstick. Oh, because I told it to, uh, that I wanted to use the controller, which... I don't want to actually do that because otherwise I get my butt kicked. And look at that. Press the at GP primary to activate your weapon. Uh, no thanks. I don't want to. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'm using the controller now. Whatever. At least the game does have controller support. So that's cool. But I'm probably going to die now. Oh my. Okay, so now we actually got locked into the dungeon. That right here is why we need to get our hands on uh, that weird talisman just so that we can end up coming back here, right? What is this? We can offer stuff to the shrine, huh? Well, that's cool. I don't necessarily know what that's about. I guess we would just leave gold down or something like that. Let's see if we can end up running into an enemy of some kind, right? Come on, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? There's a lever secretly and there's a bad guy. Okay, I got you. Oh my, I don't exactly know. Oh, I see. So that's the other thing, too, is as we're dual wielding, uh, we actually can do one attack. No. Do one attack. Nope, that's not... Okay, maybe we can't attack while we're outside of battle, which is kind of weird, but uh, I guess we did at least get some extra items here. So let, let's try and take this and the shield. So do we have a block button? Whoop. Double-handed grip. The Morning Star is too heavy to wield effectively. Its damage is reduced and its cooldown period is increased. However, you can empty your other hand to grip it. Oh. Okay, well that's kind of interesting. I, I do like that. I don't recommend playing this game with controller, though. It's cool that it does have it, but yikes, I'm getting my butt kicked. Let's grab that amulet. We also got an unidentified thingamabob. What? Did that, did that hole just, ah, okay. Uh, I don't really know what you are or why I can't seem to attack him anymore. Oh, because my attack button changed. I should have known, of course. Ow, okay, forget this guy. He's like really, really powerful. We'll just leave him to his business. Okay, maybe we won't. This weapon is not necessarily as good as the one that we were rocking before. Okay, so we can attack that. Yeah. Stay away from me, dude. Like seriously, what's your problem? Get out of here! Get out of here, Buster! Man alive, he's really hurting me a lot. Like, it's nice that we have whatever we're using that's been healing me out, because we're about to die here. Yup, we're dead. <laughs> that's not good. Oh, okay. Achievements, finders, keepers, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Retry the same dungeon. I would love to, but let's get rid of using a controller. Let's go to casual. Extra puzzles I am perfectly fine with. Ronley the third. Sure, whatever. I'm down for that. And where was my dungeon generation? Did I miss it? I think I missed it. Okay, yeah, that was kind of weird that it did just ended up doing that. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but we've got flint and steel. What is this for? I didn't want to use it! I didn't want to use that. What is this for? You can use your flint and steel to stir a fire with an equipped torch or other nearby flammable object. Oh, cool. So it's actually got some really interesting mechanics to it. I like it. Oh, it seems like we generated the same dungeon, though. Maybe, right? Ah, yeah. Yep, this is definitely the same dungeon, all right. Except this guy, for some reason, seems to be a little bit stronger. I'm not exactly sure why. Die already, stupid. Get out of town. Okay, give me that item. I like how we actually can't grab his shield because it's inside the map. Like, that's... That's not good. Well, anyways, ignore that guy. 
Let's just start exploring the area that we didn't get to check out before. So we actually got some clothes right there. These shelves can have stuff. Oh, there we go. I don't know what this is. Scroll reading some type of an erm. Left click the scroll in your inventory to read it. This will resume the game. Read the scroll. Teleportation. Whoa! I see. So they have random effects straight up. That is nice. Uh, scale better than leather. Okay, two piercing and two slashing. Three piercing, slashing, and crushing. Okay. Unless, unless some of the other stats were a little bit different. Can we grab this now? No, we still can't. So, I guess just in some regard, you just aren't going to be able to grab some of those items. Like, it'll just kind of mess things up a little bit. Okay, let's try and sneak through all this. There we go. Dual wielding is the way to go, man. That was a lot better. Forge. How do we forge? You can tra transfer the magical properties of sigils and rings to suited weapons in a forge. Put two items inside the forge uh, and click f the forge button. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Don't necessarily need it. But I know you were, like, hidden there, dude. Okay. I mean, at least we so far just got him, like, stuck in the wall like an idiot. He's not really taking that much damage, though, dude. There we go, yikes. Okay, so what was inside here? Torches, arrows, oh, so then we got an extra passive inventory right down there, huh? So that morning star, let's get rid of because otherwise we already have another one and we don't necessarily want that. What about this wall, is that anything? No, it definitely is not. Uh, we'll probably have enough time to just get through this one floor today, folks, unless of course I end up dead again. What would that key be for? There must have been a key door that I didn't notice, right? No, I don't think that there was, actually. I think that this key is actually just for the next floor. So are we able to uh, go back up anytime that we want? Yes, we can. Okay, so that's really interesting. That's a cool mechanic. I do like that we can just go through it ourselves, right? Let's just use this scroll. Magic mapping. I guess it... Oh, that hurt us a lot. Unless we were already damaged. I'm not exactly sure. What are books for? Books often contain some valuable junk. Copy and discard. Okay. What about a shovel? Uh, you can also swing a shovel for five crushing damage. Okay. It requires ten strength to wield effectively. Uh, I guess the whole point is that, yeah, we do have a character sheet, so we would end up leveling all this stuff up. Uh, affects your ability to wear armor and wield heavy weapons and stuff like that. Okay. Discovery items. So these are uh, us discovering them through trial and error, right? Kind of figuring out, like, we've uh, found out the teleportation and the magic mapping. So now we actually know what those are for next time. And, uh, oh, the magic mapping didn't damage us. We were actually already damaged. We got the map. So we got a rough outline of everything on the map. It's kind of like the compass from uh, A Legend of Zelda or something, right? We probably just did all that completely wrong, but I'm going to take it anyways because we did end up getting a ring out of that, which is interesting. Okay, you do not know what this ring does. Wear this ring for five minutes to find out more about its properties. Oh, or the ring is worth three gold pieces uh, should you return to the surface with it. And then I guess the whole point is that you could take, uh, you know, the gold is what you would end up using at the bartender for your next run, so on and so forth. Right? Something like that. Give me those. What about this water? We could walk into that if we wanted to. I do like the way that this game generates the world, though. Like, it definitely does seem pretty cool you know like this whole top down thing it's very unique where it kind of blends like a drawing with 3d and also just kind of has like so many different options as far as the generation is concerned which i really really like that okay let's see do we got anything special in here we got a staff what is this you can use a staff to hurl magic spells at your enemies you haven't identified what it is yet though uh, however, it would become obvious once you do cast a spell. Okay. And then sigil of metal. Sigil is a necessary crafting component. Okay. Well, let's get rid of all that. Woo! Woo! So are the spells... I don't think that we have infinite uh, or, or uh, limited amount of mana or anything. I think we just straight up... Oh, I see that lever was there in case we ended up teleporting in there. That that's mu that must be what that was for. Okay, so I want to try this thing out on an enemy. That definitely looks like a poison potion. 
Like, really? So we could end up swimming, but we're not going to try risking that, right? Ha! Did that work? Was he just too far away from me? So we could... That's the whole point of this game, right? We could actually just ignore this area and just go even deeper into the dungeon. And of course, there's going to end up being boss fights and stuff like that. And I do really like the amount of options that this game gives. Like, I think that's really, really cool. So, unused keys. You have at least one key in your inventory that you found on a previous floor. Regular keys, vault keys, and master keys only unlock doors or chests on the floor where you found them. They are useless now. Oh. I didn't know that chest took the keys as well. Right click any key in the inventory to see what level you found it. So we could end up going all the way back to end up getting all the items, or we could just drop them on the ground. Really, really cool, really intuitive, very user-friendly game. That's what I like about this one. And it also has a very unique style to it as well. Like, really very much approve of this one. So links will be in the description so you can check the game out for yourself, folks. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign on, and stay epic, everybody.